If you're looking to upgrade your business systems and you're wondering if Odoo would be right for you, stick around for this review. I spend a ton of time with Odoo and so I feel pretty comfortable giving you the pros and cons to this system. So let's hop into it. Again, if you're looking to upgrade your business systems and Odoo is in the running, I think this is going to be super valuable to you. One of the biggest pros of Odoo is its pricing structure. Compare the monthly pricing for Odoo to SAP or Dynamics where you're paying north of $100 per user, it looks pretty good. I mean, at $46.80 for the top plan, that's pretty impressive. And you can save even more if you're willing to do a yearly contract. Beyond that, you have two free options you could potentially take advantage of with Odoo. One is that you could use Enterprise and just use one of their apps for free, forever, unlimited users. It's pretty awesome. You could also take advantage of Odoo's Open Source Community Edition, which is entirely free. Yes, Community Edition is lacking when it comes to accounting and some other integrations, but if your price point is free, it's really a great offering. Whatever price point you come in at, unless it's that one free app forever, you get access to a ton of apps in a lot of different areas. You got finance, sales, services, marketing, all of this works together seamlessly, which leads me into my next point. Odoo is made up of a bunch of different models or apps, but they're all on the same database. Contrast that with what you find in systems like Zoho or Atlassian, and it makes it a lot easier to customize this and learn the system. And no, you don't have to have all these apps, but they are all included at the price point that I showed you before. Another one of the benefits of Odoo is that you can step into it bit by bit if you'd like to. Some people come in and start with accounting, some start with inventory. You can do it piece by piece inside of Odoo. And all of this can be customized to how your company functions, which leads me into my next point. Odoo is extremely customizable, and you don't have to be super technical to get it to do what you want. I mean, if you look at the name of my channel, it is Odoo It Yourself. So I believe very strongly that there is a lot that you can do in Odoo for yourself. So there are different levels that you can customize in Odoo. For those of us that aren't highly technical, you can use Studio to change the way that your users interact with the system. You can add automations, modify reports, create webhooks. There's a great deal you can do here without a lot of technical knowledge. But you can actually go even further than that without being super technical. The community surrounding Odoo has a lot of developers that have created apps that extend the functionality of the system. And if you're pretty technical yourself, you can create one of these apps and install it in your own system. So all in all, Odoo is a highly customizable system and it's approachable from many different technical levels. Lastly, Odoo is fairly intuitive when it comes down to it. The app interface groups things nicely by functionality, and once a user gets used to how Odoo works, it's easy to navigate through whatever they need to do. Okay, that's enough of the pros. Let's talk about some cons here. For most people, Odoo is not going to be a plug and play system. Now, if you know the ERP space, you know that Odoo is not unique in this aspect. Most ERPs require an implementation which can be extremely costly for some companies. And yes, I did say there is a lot you can do yourself with Odoo, and that is true. But you're likely going to have to hire somebody to help you navigate this process especially depending upon the size and complexity of your company. Which leads me nicely into my next point. The ongoing cost of any ARP is going to be significantly more than something like QuickBooks. Yes, it can save you a ton of time and it's probably the right choice for your company overall, but you need to be prepared for the costs that are going to come with that. Not only are you going to have support and implementation costs, but every year Odoo upgrades. And so to take advantage of its latest and greatest, you're going to have to upgrade as well. Now you don't necessarily have to do that every year. That's totally up to you. But if you want the latest and greatest, that is going to be something you're going to have to pay for. To be clear, you're going to have to pay your implementation team or Odoo themselves to upgrade you from version to version. This gets more complicated the more customizations and third-party apps you throw in, so it's a big consideration. This brings me to my next con. Inside the Odoo space, it can be extremely difficult to navigate finding an implementation partner or using Odoo's internal implementation team. I actually did a video on this, so if you need more help in this area, go ahead and check it out. But suffice it to say, it's not uncommon for a lot of companies to get frustrated with how their implementation is going, whether Odoo's handling it or a partner. Now, if you're familiar with the ERP space, you'll know that Odoo is not unique here. Proper project management is key to success and satisfaction when it comes to any ERP, including Odoo. So make sure you get a good partner and that you vet them well, this is going to be the biggest thing that will save you time and money when it comes to Odoo. And they'll hate me for saying this, 
but probably avoid the Odoo success packs. They're not going to do you many favors most times. The last con is one that seems to be getting better and better each year, but I still see it as a con. Odoo's documentation and support can be severely lacking at times. Because they're still a fairly young company and are growing so rapidly, sometimes you'll get a person answering your question that really doesn't know what they're talking about. The documentation oftentimes can be off as well, which can really throw people for a loop. That's not to say this hasn't improved over the years. I mean, five, six years ago, you'd look at the documentation or you'd look at the videos and you'd walk away feeling more confused than you were when you went into it. Odoo has taken major strides, especially in the last few years, to make sure that their videos are nice and comprehensive and that their documentation is more up to date, but there still are lingering issues. It's a big reason why I have my channel. And this is again why it's so important to have somebody there to help you along the way. Once again, you can still do this, you just need to be careful and have somebody there to help you. So let's go ahead and wrap this up real quick. Odoo provides a ton of value at its price point. It's highly customizable, it's nicely integrated, and it's intuitive. So it's a system that you know that you and your team can use for a long time going forward. Yes, there are a lot of costs associated with implementing any ERP, including Odoo, and you need to be careful with who does your implementation. All of this being said, clearly I would recommend Odoo to many companies. The biggest thing to remember, and it's the same with any project, is coming into this with a good plan and with your eyes wide open. Anyway, that's it for my review. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below, or you can grab some time on my Calendly, and I'm happy to help you further.